kidnapping was the start of it. My friend and law partner, Foggy Nelson, went missing. Since college, I'd been his protector whenever he got in over his head. But his abduction was unprovoked. No controversial case, no enemies, no warning. It had to be the Kingpin. He knows my identity behind this mask. It's a long story, but he has every reason to make my life and the lives of my loved ones difficult. If he had Foggy, I had to go find out what he wanted. I tracked Kingpin to his favorite restaurant, a hole-in-the-wall joint in Hell's Kitchen. No sign of Foggy, but that would have been too easy. As I watched him enter the building, I recognized someone's perfume. Of course, she had to show up. Electra. She had to have some information about Foggy, and that meant convincing her to help me, which is never easy. I didn't have time to ponder this before she got into it with the Kingpin's men. On my way down to the street, I think I heard the bomb's trigger mechanism click into place as the restaurant the Kingpin was in was reduced to dust. The Kingpin of Pride is dead. The kidnapping was the start of it. My friend and law partner, Foggy Nelson, went missing. Since college, I'd been his protector whenever he got in over his head. But his abduction was unprovoked. No controversial case, no enemies, no warning. It had to be the kingpin. He knows my identity behind this mask. It's a long story, but he has every reason to make my life and the lives of my loved ones difficult. If he had Foggy, I had to go find out what he wanted. I tracked Kingpin to his favorite restaurant, a hole-in-the-wall joint in Hell's Kitchen. No sign of Foggy, but that would have been too easy. As I watched him enter the building, I recognized someone's perfume. Of course, she had to show up. Electra. She had to have some information about Foggy. And that meant convincing her to help me, which is never easy. I didn't have time to ponder this before she got into it with the Kingpin's men. On my way down to the street, I think I heard the bomb's trigger mechanism click into place as the restaurant the Kingpin was in was reduced to dust. The Kingpin of Pride was dead. When I caught up with Electra, she was her usual charming self. I'd like to think she wasn't trying to kill me, but you never know. If this was the way she wanted to play it, then I was more than ready. I tracked Electra to a high-rise downtown. So did Kingpin's man. With her and I at the scene of their boss's murder, they probably figured we had a hand in it, and it looked like they wanted some payback. Electra looked like she wasn't going to hold back this time. I asked her what she had gotten herself into. She said she was told to be at that restaurant by an anonymous third party as part of a new contract, but she had nothing to do with the explosion. I told her that Foggy was missing. She said she'd keep an eye out, and that I'd better go stop the gang war that was about to erupt. Without the kingpin around to keep the peace, there was bound to be trouble. The 
Kingpin would never have tolerated this behavior, and neither would I. I knew I had to stop these gangs. I'd take out Hammerhead's guys first, since they seemed the stronger of the two families. With two of the three major crime families neutralized, I was able to continue my search for Foggy. Silvermane's lieutenant confessed that he knew the Kingpin had dealings with an underground organization just before he died. Just how far underground was something I would discover for myself. I could recognize Foggy's scent, and his trail took a foul turn into the sewers. I'd had cases lead into the sewer before. The creatures down there were unpleasant at best, but I didn't realize the extent of the evil I was facing. Ninja, the hand organization by the smell. My master, Stick, warned me about them. Pure evil. I just hoped they had nothing to do with Foggy's abduction. Something smelled worse than the rest of this place, if that was possible. Then, I heard that terrible noise. Bullseye's calling card. And it had foggy scent on it. My friend was in more trouble than I thought my mortal enemy Bullseye was involved. Back on the surface, things had gotten worse. The Rose's men had the policemen outgunned. I had to save them. Bullseye dared me to follow him. Said he had a surprise for me. I was not in the mood. I knew any surprise he had for me would be unpleasant. If he could lead me to my friend, I was willing to play his game. For now. <laughs> 